We here with the vlog, man. This is first. This is the first day of the vlog, the first episode. We going to Blue 42 today. We gonna check out the Packer Gang, cause it's Packer Gang. All scratched up, but it's all good. We winning regardless. Four to six. Let's go. So go getter Gonzalez and Manabo here. Yeah. Ready for game day? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. Go. You know Bears. why he's excited? So for those of you that don't know, I issued a challenge to Julio, right? And this is gonna be like a regular season thing. Like, oh, so, so listen, here's the challenge. I feel bad if the man. Bears win, because Lindbergh's trash. <laughs> if the Bears win, no. if the Bears win, Julio, he gotta take a pie to the face. I'm talking any pie, blueberry pie, lemon merengue pie, it don't matter type of pie, whatever it is, the Bears gonna win this game pie, no. and we're gonna buy it, I'm gonna smash it in his face. No. And he oh said, God. if the Packers win, there's no reason why the Bears he, should win today. There's he's no gonna reason. make me and eat a whole know. wheel of cheese, Limburger cheese. Get that guy right Yo, now. Send something to vlog, Dave. What up? What up? What up? Bro, it's Davis Day. I'm in white today because I feel that oh. jelly, man. This man decided to wait. This guy brushing his brushing teeth. Brushing his teeth right now, bro. No, he's not. Man, is this? What's going on, everybody? This ship with Manabo. And we're making our way to Blue 42. All right, now this is a Packers bar. Now you know Bogdan Gonzalez Julio is a huge Packers fan. And y'all know the drill, the challenge. Bears win, he gets pie to the face. Packers win, I gotta eat a whole block of cheese. Custom, custom, custom. This is the 4th and 6th edition of the NFL regular season 2019. And I'm here with my main man, Packer Bob, ladies and gentlemen. Good, 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 good. Look at this, Packer Bob. All right, now, y'all know who I am. This is Manabo, okay? So, Packer Bob, I want to ask you a couple questions. First one is, how do you feel about tonight's matchup against the Bears? I'm excited. You're excited? I'm excited. I'm excited. all the effort and everything. And we're going to win tonight. Now, Packer Bob, what's going to be the score? What's your prediction? That's going to be a tough one. Tough it's one? Be, it's going to be called probably about 27-24. 27-24. Okay, so you think it's going to be a shootout, right? Yeah. Okay, so now you know that Aaron Rodgers hasn't thrown a touchdown Soldier Field since 2015, right? Right. So you think he breaks that tonight? Oh, yeah. All right. You're saying the Packers are going to win 24 to 20. So you think that this rookie 27 field, 24. 27 24, excuse me. So you think that this rookie field Packers defense is going to make some mental mistakes? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Well, you know what, Packer Bob? I really appreciate being here. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Go, Packer! Six baby, we out here trying to promote some uh, some new type of new type of colors. It's okay, look. This, this is old school. See that cut? Did you make that? Oh man, that's how far back does that go? That is French look. It's going back as far as I do. <laughs> so uh, my name is Dave. Dave, I'm Bob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, Bob, so, um, what are your predictions for this game? Do you think it's going to be low score or high score? I think it'll probably be somewhere in the 30s. Okay. My intention is obviously to hope that Green Bay will win it, but it 
it, it, you know, it's a home game for them. Yeah. It's going to be tough. It's basically a pick because it's a three-point spread. So there's really no way to know exactly how it's going to turn out. Right. So, what do you think of Matt LaFleur? Do you think he's going to head coach? Or do you think like, a little young? Like, you know, I, I wasn't real comfortable with the way they handled McCarthy. Yeah. I, I think, to tell me that you wanted to get a head start and you let him go four games, that team made no difference those last four games at all. And they made no moves except to be told no. So I'm not sure what that was about. I think LaFleur needs to set his chops a little bit. We don't know yet what that's going to mean, okay? But they needed to make a change all well and good. I think they should have waited. Win-loss record, guys. Boy, that's a tough prediction. I think we spoke earlier, I mentioned about I'd be happy with 8 to 10 wins. Right. I, I Obviously, more would be good. But being realistic, new coach, new system, a lot of new defensive players. You know, and look, let's be realistic. We lose A-Rod. We still ain't got a quarterback. And that word ain't A-I-N-T. We ain't got a quarterback when that happens. And that's what happened last year. So let's hope that he stays healthy. Yes. And, and, uh, and maybe 10 wins, you never know. You know what happens. You get in the playoffs. All you need is a wild card. I saw you won last time. Absolutely. Thank you for your time, Bob. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Second year was like 20, and then we just multiplied. Now we're just multiplied. Now we're uh, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. How, how, how long have you guys actually been open? Five years next month. Five years next month. Five years next month. Awesome, awesome. Really cool. So um, I guess when was the first time you figured out that you were a Packer fan? Like, you knew this was a team. You knew you were a Packer. Funny story. Hard. I fell in love with the Packers because they're colors, right. green and yellow. On TV, I was like, I love those colors. I'm gonna be a Packer fan. And then it just stuck. Yeah. I became a diehard Packer fan. I'm, now I'm just insane. So have you, have you actually have you actually been to Lambo? Seven, been there? seven times. I go there. I go to a new place every year. I try to go to a new yeah. place every year. Awesome, awesome. So, the best place I, so I guess one more question I have for you: What is the plan for Blue 42 in the next five years? Just keep expanding. Keep kicking. It. Keep, uh, you know, in the ass business wise and getting more and more people to hear about us and, you know, keep it going. Keep it going. Keep it going. All right, keep one, it going. More, one more question. What is the Packers' regular season wins and losses going to be? 13 and 3. 13 and 3, and then 12 versus 12. Packers beat the uh, Patriots in the Super Bowl. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. You heard it first, baby. Packers to the Super Bowl. Yo. So I just ordered some wings. These are the Dorito wings. Dorito style wings. We're gonna try this out, see how it sounds. This is Cool Ranch style, baby. We're gonna try it out. Custom, custom, Trubisky, you let me down, my Ten guy. Balls. The so fact that got... you relied on Trubisky says it all. Exactly. So guess what you got to do, my man? You got to eat that wheel of Limburg. First time here, Packer Bar, Packers killed it. And cheese. Listen, damn Trubisky. What'd you learn about Blue 42, brother? Uh, take care, brother. Have a good one, brother. Listen, Blue 42, yo, huge, huge shout out to Giorgio. This bar is lit. Yo, their wings, yo, 
They got all types of wings. Yeah, the in wings here, are fun. What you like about Blue Forty Two? It's nice. No, that nice. was dope. Like it was, yeah. it's a good, it's a good packer bar. Nice. You guys gotta come check it out. 77 oh, types 70. of wings. Oh, 77 type yeah, of wings. That's wild. Yeah, he's right. There is 77 type yeah, of wings. 70. But um, shout out to Giorgio, the owner of Blue 42. Showed us super, super great hospitality. We'll definitely be back. Yes. This is 4th and 6th. Yes. On to the next bar. We out of here.